I'm going to be showing you my um, yearly journaling. Hi pals, it is me, Artie, they, them pronouns only. Last like proper video of the year, I'm going to be showing you my um, yearly journaling that I do. Um, I've had a few people, um, like friends of mine and generally other people on the internet interested uh, in seeing what I do, what my process is. Um, and I kind of like to think of it as well as like the more like ADHD friendly way of kind of keeping up with what I'm doing through the year, you know, along the lines of like monthly check-ins, monthly goals, um, my monthly like content creation, um, as well as like enough space to be creative with the look of my pages. I'm a very particularly artistic person. So that is a very important aspect for me. I'm really not very good at the whole like bullet journaling thing. Far too perfectionist, far too specific, um, not chaotic enough for this ADHD autistic right here. A lot of mine is mainly showing you um, what my monthly setup is. It has also changed over the years. I kind of started doing this when I finished uni in 2018-ish um, and I've kind of evolved and developed my own style that I prefer personally but hopefully this can give you some ideas of what to do how you can go about doing this yeah like some of it is just things that look nice sometimes it's uh, a bit of like event um collage creating or i use journaling prompts as well to kind of deal with deal with some things deal with some mental illness you know like it's it's not one set specific thing it's kind of like plucking and choosing bits and pieces here and there for what I need at the time and I've definitely found that the way I do things is like a way to regularly provide dopamine hits in different ways for my ADHD. I also have made a chronically ill slash neurodivergent slash disabled like journaling workbook which I may put up on coffee to be available after this or around when this video goes up so check out my coffee if you would like some of those kind of examples because i also see a lot of people asking about you know how do you deal with internalized ableism and dealing with all of the emotions around living in an ableist world and things like that so i put that together a little while ago what just wasn't really sure when how what to do with it um i'm not sure what price i want to put it up for if any at all but yes keep an eye on that as well and on onwards with the video <laughs> okay so i wanted to go through some of my earlier journaling as well so this was from 2020 i have sort of my first pages tend to be internet follower related goals things like that um and then i also have things under want to learn want to go want to do more want to read um, and then the last one is I want to imagine. This was sort of like my earlier concepts of journaling, which does change a bit over time. Also want to try and want to change. This is one of my favorite spreads I've ever done was for Peace and the Lark because I read Hunger Games for the first time in 2020 and I love them so much. So I actually printed off a bunch of stuff for this as well as like other collage things I collect um but yeah I used to kind of originally stick with like appointments I would be doing during that month and then having a section for my YouTube content and blog content sort of like as a planner and then occasionally I would have these little prompts as well uh, around the collaging and around the monthly just events going on some of it yeah is more venti some things are about again more planning so there's like this little section with little squares in the bottom left that was a instagram sort of like planning for like future posts but yeah generally i like to experiment with different kinds of vibes and colors throughout my um journals i really liked how the heart stuff one came out but like it's definitely a lot 
sloppier or not as my style as the, the my journal from this year will show you some times i put in if i've been to the cinema sometimes i put them in the same month sometimes i just put them in other places in my journals um there was a point in time where like here you'll see i uh would kind of almost make like outfit inspiration sort of spreads kind of pinteresty just because yeah i don't know i really enjoy clothes the self-drawn things were for videos as well and yeah i just kind of like to use and reuse fashion magazines because a lot of their stuff tends to be you know clothing related uh this year i had a specific page for national novel writing month as well of that year which i think i did document on my channel but now we i'll show you my 2022 notebook stuff has changed since i filmed this because i think i filmed this in the summer but again i sort of give myself creative space at the very start where i get to really enjoy putting together collages these in particular were some of them were vibes and then some of them were like dream house manifestation vibes and then again this is sort of the original format but changed slightly for myself want to learn or try uh, habits to work on creative work i've got 2022 goals that i put under health career and i also have 2022 wishes there's kind of a difference between goals and wishes goals are hopefully somewhat more attainable i also started to write down all the things i want in a partner because it has been a long time of me being single again more just fun collaging you can kind of see in this particular journal i use a lot of quotes um and like song lyrics um and you'll see a few more like journal prompts like things like if i won the lottery for example some of them are more intense some of them are a bit more light-hearted and i changed my sort of like pattern of things i use from instead of having everything documented of the month sometimes i document things sometimes i don't my sort of content pages have changed a bit that i mainly only have my content planned out for youtube videos every week and then maybe one blog post a month now and then on the other side i have monthly manifestations which i use as a mixture of general goals i want to accomplish that month and then other kinds of aspirations i want to try to achieve in that month um so it does change some of them i don't reach and that's okay but i do find that having the ability to tick those off with a nice colored pen um has been very helpful for my adhd like i sort of mentioned at the start that doing it this way for me personally has been really helpful for the dopamine hit of continuing to feel motivated to do things and keeping up with this journal because i actually enjoy keeping up with the journal so whatever makes journaling fun for you do it <laughs> i love collaging i really love making things look nice but in my own kind of styles and experimenting with different vibes like i said at the start i really am not a bullet journal person that's a little bit too specific and pernickety for me so i yeah like i said i kind of just take bits and pieces of different journaling styles and incorporate them together into my own style along with things i can really enjoy and something i can feel proud of at the end of every year is that i have these very full um, and very creative journals for i think the last four years now i didn't show you i think two 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 of my journals uh or like maybe i think i didn't show you one of my journals yeah like some of these have been print pictures i printed out myself a while ago or occasionally i'll print something out for the purpose of using it in my journal a lot of this stuff is just collected materials over years and years and years um if you're new here um a lot of early like pandemic sort of time i was going through a lot of my own possessions and i've kind of been doing that again recently yeah a lot of the time it has been me actually going through these magazines i've just had stacked up for ages for no reason um and giving it some purpose and 
kind of trying to limit how much stuff I just plainly throw away. Um, I did also make collaging bundles for Transgiving to hopefully extend the life of a lot of stuff that I just didn't see myself using. A lot of stickers people have given me. Like I tell my friends, like, you know, if you just think, if you just find like some cool stickers or collaging materials, send that to me for my birthday you know whatever i don't use i pass on to other people i've gone through so many supplies this way and that gives me its own sense of accomplishment as well that one i've gotten through so many things and not wasted anything but also like i haven't really spent the money on a lot of these materials a lot of them have been gifted to me some cute boutique shops occasionally use really cute little bags like paper bags that i've used for collaging sometimes i use or reuse birthday or christmas paper the rest of the pages are a lot of like brain chaos <laughs> and it's all kinds of bullshit from random journaling prompts collaging the books i have like i tick off which ones i've read this year i don't have space for that so um i don't i don't don't think I'll be doing the whole list of books and crossing them off unfortunately this year. I was trying to give myself more space per month and I just ended up missing out <laughs> on enough pages in the back to do these sorts of things. So we'll see how that goes in 2023. But yeah, I also have a long term goals list usually but I don't think I'll be including that one in 2023 either. So I'm going to show you sort of like what I do to set some of these pages up in my journals. This is my 2023 journal. Like I said, I give myself sort of creative space in the first few pages. Um, I do like to put my name in the front and the year in the front as well. But you'll see me stick over that later. So I'll have to re-actually <laughs> re draw my name and the year over what I've collaged. But yeah, so we go with end of 2022 stats so i write up my follower accounts and things like that from the end of 2022 the previous year as like the starting point for 2023 i tend to also use sort of my favorite colors for a lot of the beginning so i like a lot of greens and bluey greens so then i also will use these tiny little sticky notes which i think a lot of people use as like reading tabs to set out my follower goals for each of these different things so yeah i sort of give myself some space to be able to list enough numbers that i want to include for each thing stick them down right on them <laughs> I also have had just so many post-it notes over the years. I've bought a few different kinds. I often pick up really cool little sets of different styles and themes in like a Wilkinson's. They often have quite a lot of stuff in there really cheap um, and especially like some of their stuff is on like the clearance racks and again like the things I don't use I then pass on to other people uh, so nothing ever really goes to waste when I use it. And then I love to use a bit of washi tape as well. It's a great way of underlining and separating pages in a journal uh, you can buy so many different kinds but i have quite a limited and plain set i don't really remember i think i picked them up in wilco's as well yeah so again there's sort of certain colors that i prefer to use so a lot of those have been used up these are also a couple of the wilco's sticky notes i bought um so i also include my book reading goals for the year at this this um section of the journal so it's like a lot of my goals are in the very front for like the year and i will write the dates when i've reached the goals so it's kind of you can see it all in sort of like one page um yeah i've kind of just gotten into the manifesting <laughs> of things and i feel like journaling is a really big part of that and a way that i can watch that come to life but also watch it watching my own progress over the years with my goals um, and then the kinds of things i'll keep in the front of my book as well is want to learn or try um, habits to work on my creative works so the kind of projects that i'm still working on and would like to work on 2023 goals for health and career again um, and then my 2023 wishes then i'll give myself some more space i may include some other lists in that area um, or I may just use them for collaging. Then I will create the January se 
<laughs> January section and yeah after I sort of let the ink dry out a little bit I'll come back through with my highlighters or coloured pens to underline some of the words or most of the titles um like i said i've kind of i prefer greens so i've kind of gone with a lot of a green theme again this year i did that for my 2022 book as well but there are a lot more other colors that i do use elsewhere because yeah i've used my greens a lot so they're, they're, there's not many left and the ink is not um so great in that highlighter anymore but also like sometimes it's helpful to use washi tape or collaging to help make the uh, notebook sturdier there has been many a tragedy happening <laughs> with my um journals because the collaging does tend to make the books very thick um, and hard to close which can also start making the seams start splitting so yeah i kind of incorporate that as part of the design so that it will be less likely that they will fall apart completely down the line so again using my wishes i've chosen the color for the wishes i don't know why i went with yellow i went with it last year so um i think i was sort of copying a similar format to 2022's journal something about yellow it just says you know manifesting success um, so here I'm setting up and laying out my first content planning page and basically all I do here to be honest is just date when my videos come out and just write roughly either the title or like the theme of the video down <laughs> and when it's definitely done and up I then sort of cross it off. I like to use the sticky notes in this way to kind of like block out the different videos or blog posts um again sort of like a it's a visual it's visually nice to look at but also it's kind of a visual um way of telling you these are the videos these are the blog posts you know these are separate things blah blah, blah. um and yeah i have quite a, i have a couple of books that i wrote the pages out of because i don't like stephen king <laughs> but i do like books and i do like the sort of like old vintage vibe that these book pages can give my um collaging um so i use them a lot i use them so much because they are so versatile like you can use a whole page you can like rip them up and you can do all sorts of stuff with them i fucking love them i have also often ripped pages out to give to other people for collaging too because i know as like as a book lover even if you don't like the author sometimes it can feel just wrong ripping books up but it's okay i've done it for you <laughs> so here are some pages you know but yeah i just i just love being given completely random bits and pieces from people so if you ever find any cool random bits of paper they can make really useful either backing collages or they can be really great for like like written sections too so i'm going to show you more of the collaging part of it now i have to tip everything out of this folder because this is the folder i keep for stuff that i like and want to use mainly in my journal um, so yeah, I have to tip it all out and go through it all and work out what I'm going to use each time. Um, so yeah, you get a bit of a look of all the stuff that's kind of in that folder and you'll get to see some of the collaging I started doing in this book. It's quite difficult for me to really film these because a lot of my collaging is done in stages over time, uh, which is another reason why I do really enjoy collaging in a journal because they just kind of keep continuing to develop as you as your tastes change and as you find new and different and cool materials to work with and you learn different techniques that you want to try out like yeah I really love doing it and I try not to set up too much of my journal too far in advance because I do like to see the either the changes in my own style or the kind of experimenting I do so like this is quite different to anything I've done really before in my journals it's almost like a cover page for the month I've kind of changed the order of things a little bit so I'm going with like a double cover page for every month um, and then you'll also see the page after that is then my goals for the month instead of that being at the very end of the month which it used to be um, just wanted to try it out to be honest see what happens um, and like I said I gave myself more pages for the month so I can do more of the creative collaging and more of the actual like writing things in because uh, sometimes that's been the issue is that unfortunately I can't really put much 
into my monthly collaging or journal sections okay really because like i've just kind of gone ham a while back with a, a theme which i may love um but i can't do anything for a while because i've kind of there, gone and done it for like several months worth you know so i've done a few different collaging in my 2023 journal but hopefully i haven't done too much i think i've given myself plenty of like room and space to continue to experiment when i actually finally get into 2023 <laughs> but yeah i also go to i think it's called clark's stationaries uh, or stationers either one um because they sometimes have really really nice stickers i think that's where i bought my butterfly stickers they are sick i love these butterflies um, i don't use them very often but like i really felt the butterfly butterfly vibes in the collages i was doing for my 2023 planner so i think i'm gonna have to go back for some more butterflies yeah and also that's where i pick up the pastel highlighters um occasionally i buy other um supplies in there too or different pens to use but yeah i also like to keep um stamps off of letters i'm sent because like you don't really get a lot of stamps i don't get a lot of letters these days and i tend to get them mostly around the end of the year because of christmas so i like to sort of rip them out and use them as just like cute extra decorative collaging material really um because like some of the sta stamps i've received from other people are really different from the uk stamps as well they can be really quite perfect for a certain vibe or like a certain times of year like at christmas our stamps might look a bit more christmasy but yeah also like it can be just a simple way to include a color in more than one section i uh, i kind of use a just such a mixture of materials i don't think i recorded that like this in this video um but there is a section where i use some of my great grandparents like written notes um for from their like holiday photos in a collage in the 2023 journal i think that's a september layout i just like i just had an energy for september um so i just went ahead and did that myself like already so yeah i mean that's kind of pretty much it hopefully that explains things so that, that's pretty much it um i hope this video was helpful to you i hope you enjoyed it i hope it could bring some kind of inspiration of things to try out in the new year yeah leave a comment down below let me know your thoughts on it currently or if you are a journaling person what kind of things do you find useful for yourself are you a bullet journal like person personally cannot relate it looks very nice and aesthetic but that is just not my brain too much chaos for anything so like pristine let me know if you have any questions um and i can try my best to answer and also i've, I've been thinking about this for a while i might make some like themed collaging bundles available either on coffee or on my depop for like uk based people so let me know if that'll be something you'd be interested in and what kind of like themes you would like you know like when you look up a pinterest board kind of thing dark academia light academia um heart stopper vibes um kind of punky high fashion you know let me know I want, I want to know what you think of that as an idea as well like the video because it really helps me as a small creator and subscribe to my channel next year's goal is to try and get youtube partner so it's 1k subscribers and like 4,000 watch minutes every 30 days or something like that i've i've forgotten i don't know but that's the aim so if you want to help me to do that watch some of my other videos watch some of my other videos please i hope you enjoy the rest of 2023 and have a good new year and whatever you do or don't celebrate enjoy have a good time um and i will see you some point in january feels weird to say that but yeah see you in january Bye.